Now at 11, we begin with breaking news in Van Nuys, where unconfirmed reports say that three people have been found shot near an apartment complex. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 11. I'm Rick Chen. And I'm Creed Winter. Those details are still coming in at this late hour, and it's still unknown if the victims knew each other or what actually led up to the shooting. The investigators are still there on the scene, along with firefighters and paramedics. Rachel Menetoff, who's been very busy tonight, is live in Van Nuys with the latest on this breaking news. Rachel. Rick Green, the call came in around 9.40 tonight for shots fired, so it's still very early on in the investigation. I do want to show you what the scene looks like. This is the intersection of Delano Avenue near Kester in Van Nuys. You'll see a group of LAPD officers gathered together. They've been talking to witnesses. We know that several people were shot and taken for treatment in varying conditions. And you can see this likely happened in or around one of the apartment complexes over here. It is not clear what led up to the shooting and whether or not the victims and the suspects knew one another. One resident told me he saw a car pull up and heard anywhere from five to eight shots fired. Obviously, LAPD is now on the scene. It's still very active out here, and we're going to stay on top of this and continue to bring you the latest updates once we know more. That's the latest, though, from Van Nuys. I'm Rachel Menetoff. Rick Green, back to you in the studio. All right, Rachel, thank you for that. Elsewhere, police are searching for two suspects involved in a deadly hit and run in Lincoln Heights. After one driver caused a motorcyclist to fall off his bike, the other then struck and killed him, but both fled the scene. Now, there are several businesses with surveillance cameras near where all this happened. Officials are hoping that those videos lead police to the drivers involved. Check Sarah Walsh has the latest from Lincoln Heights. Rick and Kareen, investigators are working to track down this hit-and-run driver who left the victim in this busy intersection here in Lincoln Heights. The deadly